And we're back. So, I probably should have saved this topic of discussion for a day when I actually look halfway decent, but instead I realized as soon as I started to save the previous vlog entry that Miss Jessica Harlow suggested something that I would like to answer right away. So, maybe I should pull up on my Twitter exactly what she said. Give me just a moment. All eyes on me in the center of the ring just like a circus. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to keep y'all entertained. Okay. So, Jessica says, Tell us about what makes you happy and about your dreams and goals in life. Tell us how you deal with meanies in life and on, your, on YouTube. Okay. So... What makes me happy? Well, lots of things make me happy. These days, it's really about my friends because I don't know where I would be if I didn't have them. And they make me laugh. They sometimes make me cry. They piss me off. They do all of that, which I'm sure all of you have gone through in your life. But it's really important for me to have a strong bond with my friends. And I have so many people in my life that I would consider very close or even a best friend. They're the ones that are there for me. They listen to me and I listen to them. They help me with music videos. They give me makeup ideas. They tell me I look fat in those girls' jeans. <laughs> they just, they do whatever. Oh, but... That's, I think they're a huge source of my happiness. They're the ones that help me not to go crazy and ballistic. And something else that makes me really happy is when I upload a video or I tweet about something or I'm on Facebook, when you guys, people that I may not know in person, you write me and, and it could be a simple comment like, move out to the Netherlands or... Or I wore blue eyeshadow just like you did because I posted something about wearing an electric eel or something like that. I think it's really cool that I I have such a following. I don't want to get on a high horse and, and, and say that I'm great or anything like that because I don't feel that way at all. I just think that it's amazing that I put up videos three years ago on YouTube when it wasn't what it is today. And there's still people that are following me. They can tell me what I was wearing in a video that might have been taken down for copyright infringement. I don't know. It's just, it's phenomenal to me what YouTube has become. Anybody who has a camera or a built-in webcam like I have right now, since I'm not using my $1,400 camera that I got two years ago to make Fergalicious with, which incidentally the sound is taken down off of. Ugh. I think anybody out there can be recognized and can be well known. But it is, it is a challenge because you have to be ready for the criticism and you have to be ready for the meanies in real life and on YouTube. I think that one of the things that's hard for me to fathom is that at any moment somebody could recognize me from a music video, the WB, any of my YouTube stuff. And I haven't had a problem with it as far as jobs go so far. I know that employers do look at your Facebook and MySpace and I guess now YouTube to see what you're doing, how many times you curse, how you present yourself, and things of that nature. So as of now, it hasn't become a problem. I'm not going to hide who I am. I'm going to talk freely. There are times when I feel it's appropriate to say a bad word, and then there are times when I'm like, you know what, I'll take the high road on this one. I know that some people have met me in not the best of times, especially recently if you've met me in the past two months. I probably haven't been that bubbly persona that I created in the beginning with my videos. And even now I'm talking... I would say with my real voice, <laughs> but clearly it's my real voice, just a little shot. The, the whole, hey girl, hey, this is Matthew Francis from A Boy Wearing Makeup, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a smoky eye. That's not me. That's not me all the time. I don't really act like that. That's just to hype it up and make you feel, I don't know, energetic and stuff. I feel like I do have some sort of energy back, regardless of what I said in a past video. I feel like I'm actually growing and moving on. And of course, everybody said it would just take time and you just have to deal with things in your own way. 
when it comes to, I'm sorry, and another thing about me is I ramble. Like, I get on something and I'll just jump to like five different sub points and maybe not even talk about or even remember what I was talking about to begin with. <clears throat> but as far as the meanies go in real life and YouTube, I don't know how many times I can say this without my face turning blue. Sometimes it gets to me and sometimes it doesn't. More times than not, I'm just like, forget it. It's actually more of a slap in the face to those out there who watch my videos and take the time to say fucking faggot or burn in hell and stuff like that. Why are you watching my videos? You should know instantly as soon as I start speaking that I'm homo. Big surprise. And lately when people, I see that people write comments and say gay or you're gay or are you gay? I'm like, no kidding. Really? Did you have to ask that? And another thing that's funny is, why don't you just read the other comments? Because chances are somebody else has come across it. When people are comment on my music videos, that's a guy wearing makeup. I didn't catch that the first time. What? It's no surprise to me. This is my life. I'm... I don't mind sharing it with people. I don't mind talking and being realistic. And I don't mind making people feel good about themselves. You're not going to tear me down. I've heard it all my life. I know it. Okay, great. I'm a fag. Now what? Truth of the matter is, the reason why I'm a faggot to some of you is because of your definition of what being gay is. Like, if my persona is the worst vision of a homosexual man there is, then stop watching me or change your mindset. You know, it's silly that people are still stuck in this. Well, let's bash him and make him cry and make him feel bad and make myself feel better. You're not making yourself really feel that much better because I'm not the only one. There are plenty of gay guys out there and women, transsexuals, transgenders. Are you going to comment on all their MySpace, Facebook and YouTubes? Chances are no. You're just going to pick and choose which one you want to watch. So it doesn't really bother me. Since my grandfather passed away, he was kind of, he was the sweetest man in the world. But he was indeed a little husky, and he'd be like, ah, GD, da -da -da -da, Matthew, come on, and stuff like that. All my friends who got to meet him, they know this is true. So since he's been gone, I kind of invoke him whenever I feel that people are being negative to me. If I'm walking around the mall and I've got full face paint on, and I can tell that people are judging me, I'll just look at them and be like, what? And? <laughs> I don't care. People need to grow up or get out. It doesn't bother me. This is my life. I'm living it for me. If you don't like it, if you don't like the way I toss my hair, or how many times I fix my beanie, or how I do my eyebrows, or how much I talk about Britney Spears and lately Kim Kardashian, then walk away. Close your eyes. Pray. Don't pray. Don't close your eyes. But don't waste your time if it's not going to benefit you in the end. It's not really going to benefit me just sitting here and be like, eh, nah, 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 nah. I don't like the haters. So, I don't do it. I just say it like it is. Could I live without the haters? Sure. But I know I'm not going to. So let's be real. If you're going to hate, okay, do it. Pfft, I'll just laugh at you. And make fun of your name. Isn't it funny, too, that the people who hate on you the most have the most gay usernames? Seriously? It kind of cracks me up. So, I probably shouldn't say gay. So, I'll, in, in a negative way. We need to be PC these days, don't we, girls and boys and guys and women and men and children and whatever you are. So I guess that's how I deal with it. I just say F it. I don't really care. Uh, there are people in my life and things in my life that make me happy. I'm not going to sit there and spend all of five minutes plus thinking about, oh, God, maybe I should stop doing YouTube because this one person doesn't like it. <laughs> There's a little thing called an X button. You click it, the screen goes off. You don't have to hear my annoying voice, see my ungodly facial hair, or my uneven eyebrows that are sisters, not twins. <laughs> so that's how I deal with it, Miss Harlow. Okay, so I'm going to run. This was vlog part two of November 2nd. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you also noticed, oh, sorry, that Moo, she's not faced by anything. And she moved. She was there. Now she's there. <laughs> So you guys, again, have a wonderful day or night. Subscribe, Twitter me. Oh, now I have time to say it. Twitter.com slash Matthew Francis. You can Facebook me. I update both pretty regularly. Facebook, I update with more pictures and stuff like that. 
and it'll be fun. It'll be a hoot and a half. And I've still got a killer rack. <laughs> trying to get rid of it, but I guess it doesn't help that I eat it like two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, let's go to the 24 hour McDonald's. Yay. Okay, bye.